hello beauties welcome back to my channel i'm liddy robin if you're new go ahead and hit that subscription down below and if you're returning welcome back in today's video i want to show you guys what i got in my sephora haul um i placed several orders maybe two or three orders and i'm still currently waiting on one of my packages now i think that should be here friday so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got Okay, so the first thing I got, it was the Laneige, um, the lip sleeping mask, and I got it in apple lime. This is what it looks like inside the packaging. And then this is what you get. You get the product itself, and then you get a spatula. So this is what the spatula looks like. Excuse me, my guys, my hands are ashy, just coming from work. <laughs> so... This is what the packaging looks like. It is green. And then you have like a little safety cap on top. And this is what it looks like. It's like a green um, bomb. And it do smell like um, an apple lime. So I can't wait to try this out. I love their lip sleeper mask. I had um, like a sample size of it and i believe that one was in berry and i'm still working on it so once i finish that i will go into this big guy okay so the next thing i got still is from laneige but this is the the glowy the lip glowy balm and i got this one in peach so this is what the packaging looks like I love these bombs. I have actually the um, the grape one and I believe it's strawberry or something like that. It's a pink tube. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like outside the box. It's like an orangey yellow packaging and I believe the bomb is actually clear. Well, it comes on your lips clear. I'm going to go ahead and just put some on so you guys can see how good this stuff is. And I'm just going to put in the bottom up. Okay. So these are $17 a piece of the um, sleeping mask. I believe that is $22 a piece. But during the sale, I got 15% off my order. So I saved some coins. And it does smell like peach. It doesn't taste like it, but it smells like it. Okay, so the next thing I got, it was the, let me get the package and hold on one second. Okay, so the next couple of things are from Fenty Beauty. I picked up the, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. If you're not familiar, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Fenty Beauty's packaging. Um, I got it in the shade 410 and does it have a name for the 410 nope just say 410 so this is what the packaging looks like it says fenty beauty on the outside and it has a you get a sponge on the bottom it has a mirror right here and then when you flip it down it has another mirror and then you get your product so this is the shade 410. That's what that looks like. And I had um, looked at some reviews of these because I normally use the 420 in um, the liquid foundation for the matte foundation. But I noticed that the 420 in the powder foundation was a little bit darker. So I went down a shade and um, picked up the 410. And this is one of the products that I have been currently using um, as of recently. And I do love it, you know. I have tried to use it in over to set um, a liquid foundation, which, you know, it's a foundation, so I just set it with another foundation. But, um, and I, I actually use this alone by itself as a regular powder foundation, and I do like it. So that was one product from Fenty Beauty. Um, the other product I got was the, this one is the Sunstalker instant warm bronzer and i got it in the shade 60 i think that's what they say no 
shade thick mint okay so this is what the packaging looks like it looks just like the foundation box okay so this is what the packaging looks like i'm gonna go ahead and try to wipe this off because i do have some some powder on here okay so this is what the packaging looks like it has like a mirror type of um, feel to it again this is in thick mint um, number nine okay so you get a mirror on this end and then this is what the color looks like okay um, this is the only bronzer that I have used I know she has multiple other um, bronzers but I want well, the, the, the late the latest one that she released before the thick mint that was kind of too red for me so I didn't purchase that one and then I think it was a cocoa cocoa something um that one looks like it could work but it was going to be like a natural type of bronzer that I could use it wouldn't probably give me too much definition or you probably wouldn't be able to see it look like a foundation so I, so when this one came out I was excited to get this one because it was um, kind of like a neutral shade to me. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see that. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to swatch the foundation. So just in case there's anyone who's like my skin color, they can get a reference. So this is what the bronzer looks like and you see how it's like a neutral tone it's not too red and it's not too cool it's right in the middle so i love 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 it i think uh no i didn't use it today i used a different bronzer today so uh for the foundation i'm gonna go back and swatch that so you guys can see that lined up next to the bronzer you probably can't see it because it's my skin tone but that's it right here. This is the foundation in 410. And this is the bronzer in thick mint. Okay. Okay, so that was all that I had ordered in my first order. And then I had redeemed um, some points. So in my points, I had got this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. Uh, micro powder and it's only 0 0.02 ounces it's so cute <laughs> this is what the box looks like when it came in and i have been using this up but this is so cute guys look at that little mini this is what the mini not the mini but the sample size looks like and then inside you get a mirror a little mirror on one side and I did get it in the shade tan 3 so that's what tan 3 is looking like um, this one I did um, purchase the, the, the mini size I didn't get the full size so that's what I'm actually waiting on to receive is um, the mini the actual mini size of this um, I believe it was $25 so that should be here friday okay so the next thing i had redeemed was i believe let me see which packaging i believe it was this little little guy right here this little sample this is the clean start breakout cleansing or clearing foaming wash by dermalogica so that's what I got so in my second order um I think it wasn't enough stuff that I needed to get so I went and ordered some more stuff so hold on one second get that ready okay so in my second order we'll go ahead and get the packing slip for that one so I can keep track of everything that's in this box okay so um I noticed that Sephora not only was given um the whatever rewards that she was on a title to like the 15 percent or the 10 percent or the 20 percent um they was also um advertising sephora products and you got 30 percent off on if you order any sephora products so i did order 
some Sephora products and I got the, the Micro Smooth Bake Powder. This one is in the shade Deep, but it's in my not, um, that I can never get, mon monogamy. <laughs> that is what this shade, I do have this one in, let me check and see, hold on. Okay, so I already had it in Deep Ebony. So this is what Deep Ebony looks like. And this is Mac Mac Mahogany. <laughs> um, this is what that one looks like. This is my old one. And this is the new one I got. Um, I'm go ahead and just show you guys outside of the cover case. So you can get a good glimpse of the two shades. So as you guys can see, the Ebony is a little darker than this one. Um, but both of them works fine for my skin tone. I never, I didn't have any problems using this alone to <clears throat> go over my face, but I wanted to try another shade. So I went ahead and got this one. Okay. So the next thing I got was the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And this is in Toffee. I haven't opened it up yet. It still has the packaging on it, um, but this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm currently working on some concealers now, so um, I'm not going to open this up. I'm just going to put this in my backup drawer. Um, I have used this before, uh, and I love it. You know, I have. I think I had actually showed this product in one of my um, empties. I will leave that link up top so you guys can go back to that and get my review on this. But this is an excellent product, so I got one of those. And then I got the Sephora. This is the best skin ever um, liquid foundation. I got it in the shade 44Y, which stands for yellow. I'm actually wearing this foundation today. So I do like it. Um, as you guys can see, I do have a little oil showing up, and that's because I had this face on since 6 o'clock this morning. So, um, and right now it is, let's see, 4.38. So, I've been wearing this for at least over 10 hours, I want to say. Yeah, at least 10 hours, or getting close to 10 hours. Um, so, this is the foundation. Um, it's... It's supposed to be a natural finish. Um, it's a medium, a medium buildable coverage for a natural looking perfect skin. So basically it's your skin but better, basically. Um, I had no issues. I've been wearing this foundation for the last week or so. And I have been getting compliments on how my skin looks with this foundation. So I do recommend if you haven't tried this out to go ahead and just get your um, foundation shade. I believe it's $20, but during that time again, I was getting it when it was on sale for the 30% off. So, but $20 is still a good price for um, a drugstore type of foundation or a luxury store brand um, foundation. So if you haven't tried to go ahead and get that. Okay, so the next thing I got, let's see, anything else in here? I'm trying to look around and see, guys. Uh, so, oh, hold on one second. Let me get it on out of here. So, I have redeemed some more points. And some of this stuff either came in either box, to be honest. I can't remember which came in what box. But I have redeemed the, the Natasha Denona. There was like a little sample on this card. And it was this shade right here in the middle, which is Zan. And I put it inside my little uh, makeshift palette. So I'm going to show you guys that shade. So this is the sand color right here. Zand that I got. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch it. It's like a nude um, beige color. That's what that looks like. 
and it's good for a brow bone highlight i don't know if you guys can see that let me try to get a little closer but that's it right there um i normally use it as a like a brow bone highlight or if i want that shade to just be on my lid as a natural color i will put that on there and then i got the sephora collection lip story this is sample sizes and it's four different lip stories in here go ahead and fold that down so you get four different shades and the shades is number three which is a cream lipstick and it's called oi o-u-i i guess and then you got number 62 which is palm street and that's that orange looking reddish color right there and it's a matte lipstick so this one is oi this one is palm street okay the next one is number 71 is treat yourself which is a metal finish which is this gold right here and then the last one is number 10 yum yum and that one is in a cream finish so you have two creams a matte and a metallic okay so the next thing i got in points was the shizu with you girl <laughs> i'll put the name right here but it's an ultimate sun protector lotion it has a broadband spectrum of spf 50 plus that's what that looks like and then i have uh, what is this makeup forever shine control step one primer uh, mattifying primer that's the packaging and here is the product this is what it looks like it's um so we got the size how much this is in here 0. 0.16 fluid ounces five milliliters so that's a little sample to try out. And if I like it, I'll probably go back to Sephora and get the full size version of that. Um, anything else? That looks like it's it. Let me make sure. Okay, yep. So that is all I got from the Sephora haul. Again, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury mini size coming um again that was 25 dollars for that for the original price that should be here again on friday so i probably won't do a video on that because you guys and i'm pretty sure you guys know what tan looks like um on deeper skin so that is it for this video again if you guys are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there i do have a giveaway coming up very very soon so make sure you are subscribed so you can you know get in on that um giveaway um i will be announcing it um very shortly here and maybe the next couple of weeks i'm just waiting for some stuff to come in okay so that is it for this video again give me a thumbs up if you like these type again if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below if you actually went and got something from the sephora haul i know this is a kind of a late video but if you did purchase anything from the sephora haul that you probably want me to try or check out um leave that information down in the comments and i will get back to you in my in my um my next video bye